Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Maytech PDB, or the MaTech, whatever you prefer. I've heard it pronounced both ways, um, but as you can see here, it is the Mini Power Hub, and I believe, um, let me look on, yeah, this is the uh, version 3.1. Um, just basically, this is going to be a quick overview of this product. Um, I purchased it myself. I use it in um, several builds, and I just love this PDB, so I'm just going to run down all the features. Okay, let's just stop for a moment here and go over some of the specs real quick. Um, obviously, it's got four ESC outputs rated to 20 amps with a 25 amp burst. Um, the entire board is capable on running from 3 to 6S, so that'll be 9 to 26 volts. So perfect for little multi-copters running on um, 4S. Um, it's got two regulated 5 and 12 volt outputs and it has two little LED power indicators but they're just for power and nothing else. Um, on the 5 and 12 volts um, it can only take uh, 3 amps out of those so you know but if you're not powering really anything besides your camera so unless you hook a ton of LEDs up to there. Uh, it's got a quadruple layer, so four layer PCB with two ounce copper, so that's pretty nice. It's good. Um, let's it handle the power well and carry the current. And all the um, so back, um, and this is only a $6 PDB, by the way, so keep that in mind when you see some of this stuff. Um, so it's got a uh, battery down here for your um, positive and negative for your connector, and pretty simple there. And then it's got your four ESC outputs, so one here, here, another one here, and here. It also comes with this little manual. Let me show you here. Um, pretty nice run through, a detailed diagram, everything gives you specs, and it's actually nice color. And this wiring diagram down here could be pretty helpful to somebody. But as you can see here, I have um, my ZMRX 210, which I have some Emacs uh, 2205, 2300 KV with some uh, DAL Q5040. So these are pulling 20, maybe 30 amps. Um, and I'm using the Maytech PDB, a separate one inside of there, and um, you know that just works um, just fine. And it is 36 millimeters um, square, so as you can see, um, but it has 30.5 millimeter mounting holes, so it fits in just like a flight controller board, like a Nase 32 uh, X Racer F303, as you can see here. That's what I have. Um, it lets you make a nice stack and keep everything nice and neat. Okay, now down here in the belly of the beast, we have these two little gray things, and from what I understand, they are the um, the voltage regulators, and now I don't understand that much about this, but since this can take, uh, let's see, it was 2 to 6S, or 3 to 6S, I believe, um, these will take the voltage down, and they supply it to the 5 volt and 12 volt outputs over here, as you can see there, and then over on the other end for the um, camera, or yeah, for the VTX and camera pads through. I'm not sure if they're a filter or not. I know some people, um, to get noise out of your video, um, you can use a filter, but I've never had any issues with this, so it might be filtered. Um, someone down below, if you can let me know. I don't know too much about filters and regulators and the differences, um, but that's what that is. Okay, one more thing I want to go into a little bit more detail about is these VTX and camera pads for the pass-through up here. Um, so as you can see, um, I have the picture up on the screen, but there's a negative, positive, and VTX. So that's where you hook up your VTX, the red, black, and signal wire, and the same for the camera. And then those two little spots over there on the left, it says 12 and VCC. So if you select 12, you'll be getting 12 volts from the regulator. Or if you select VCC, you'll be getting the actual battery voltage. So if you're using a 4S, about 16 volts. Um, and you just solder the two pads together and bridge them to select that. And over on the camera side, you have 12 volt, 5 volt, and VCC outputs. So that's really nice. I can supply 12 volts to my video transmitter and 5 volts to my camera just by simply um, soldering them together. And the VTX and cam pads are a video pass through, so it connects that. So that's super nice. You know, and everything, the, all the little, um, all the pads are nicely, um, they're, I believe they're a copper coating, um, but they tin very well and it sticks and everything flows nice. It's just a super nice little board. Um, it's got two little LEDs on it. Sometimes they buzz a little bit, so that could be a disadvantage, I guess. But overall, I think it's just a great little board. It fits into the Tower of Power, as I showed you there on a quad. Um, it's really lightweight and compact. It's just, it goes great. It's super cheap, and it's worked perfect for everything I've ever used it for. And I definitely continue on using it for more things. Um, so let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. I'm um, kind of trying to do a little bit different with um, the background here and obviously just a single uh, product, kind of like the Hobby King product profile. Um, but I just really like this board and I thought 
I'd recommend it a lot because, I mean, probably lots of people are using it, but I thought I'd make my own video. So there we go. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.